Yeah, I mean, I still get bullied, and I know that being a bearded lady, I will still get bullied, and I will face such negativity in my life, but the difference is from now, back then, is I know how to handle it, and I know that I'm way more empowered now than I was back then, in my younger years, to actually accept it and just walk on and help the people that need my help. Polycystic ovary syndrome is basically an in-hormonal balance within a woman's body. So I was diagnosed with polycystic ovaries and that's the reason to why I have a beard. Puberty was horrible for me. <laughs> I think where my body was changing, I wasn't ad adapting to it as well as I should have. So I hated it, I hated my body and I punished it by self-harming and things like that. And obviously I removed my face hair a lot too. There are many which ways that I tried to remove my facial hair and then I decided, okay, I'm just going to shave it. <laughs> so I just started shaving, but the thing was, is where the hair growth was only around my neck, it grew to this amazing beard. <laughs> so literally, the facial hair wanted to stay and it came back with a vengeance, but I absolutely love it. I was being bullied horrendously, so I thought, well, you've lived by removing it and you were suicidal and you wanted to kill yourself because you hated your body that much. And then I kept my facial hair and then it was like, well, why don't you learn to accept yourself and love yourself for who you are and what your body is trying to, the way, you know, the way that your body is trying to form for you and your image, why don't you accept it? And that's what I did. If people loved or accepted others and loved themselves, there wouldn't be any bullying. And if there wasn't any bullying, then people would learn to love themselves. So those two work hand in hand for me. I never thought that the public would react to me as a bearded lady this way that they have. And it's been amazing and it's been very positive. So I think being able to reach out to different people and help different people embrace themselves or work with different companies and just feeling the love, I think that's what's been probably one of the main highlights from embracing my beard. It's very important for me to hold this record to show younger children that, you know, when you grow up there will be so many people out there that look different, but it's okay to love and accept them too, and, you know, to love and accept yourself as well.